I'm now going to introduce Sammy Millian, who is the director of Kentisha. Sammy Millian is a director of Kentisha Mining and developing the Kentisha Lithium Project in Ethiopia. Sammy manages the company's engagement with stakeholders, including with local communities, non-government organisations, business and government agencies. Sammy has over 10 years' experience in communications and public affairs disciplines, including stakeholder management, government relations, strategic communications and policy analysis in the UK and Africa. He has previously held positions with the Embassy of Ethiopia in London, in the Public Di Diplomacy and D Communications Division and with the Office of the Prime Minister in Ethiopia, providing guidance and support in foreign direct investments. He holds a Bachelor of Arts with Honours in International Business Management from the University of East London. Please welcome Sammy Millian. Thank you for the welcome message. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and honorable minister across Africa. My name is Sammy Millian. I came from Ethiopia. It was a great honor and deep sense of gratitude that I welcome you to this presentation. I'm a director of Kentucha Mining PLC, which is an incorporated joint venture established to develop a world-class T1 hard rock Kentucha lithium project. I'm delighted to be part of the African Down Under Conference here in Perth, Western Australia. The ADU has shown case the many success stories about Australian mining companies and organizations working across Africa. The African Down Under is the most attended event for those with a project in Africa for the people and the companies interested in investing or doing business in Africa. Ethiopia is a country located in East Africa is emerged as a hub of a green energy and transitions minerals development and production, which is abundance of natural resources, favorable for government policies, and increasing demand of sustainable energy. Ethiopia is attracting attention for investors around the world. Ethiopia has rich and critical mineral deposits, which are sustainable, essential in companies in the manufacturing of electric vehicles, renewable energy, infrastructure, and other clean technologies. The country is a home, home to significant deposits of lithium, tantalum, nickel, and, and rare earth elements. These minerals are in high demand as the world transition to a low carbon economy. Two things are absolutely clear. One, the shift to renewable and sustainable energy is happening at a record pace. And two, lithium is at the core of the shift. The way the lithium industries are developing look very similar to the beginning of the oil boom. Investors who are looking for opportunities in the green energy and transitions of mineral sector should take notice of Ethiopia. The country is a favorite, favorable investment climate coupled with its abundance of natural resources, making it an attractive destination for investment. In addition, Ethiopia is located to East Africa provides strategic access to the growing markets in the region. Kandicha is located in Oromia, which is the largest state in Ethiopia, which has a federal system of government. In fact, the Oromia state government is a 49% shareholders, and the project Kandicha is located some 500 kilometers south of the capital of Addis Ababa. Kandicha lithium project. Kandicha pegmatite is one of the largest continuous spodium rich pegmatites in the world. It's up to 80 million, so it's up to 80 meter ticks and extends over three kilometers. In July 2022, Kandicha mining generated the first ever Jorkod compliant mineral resource estimate for Kandicha using a modern evaluation techniques. The ore body was estimated to contain 88 million tons of ore, grading at 0.78% lithium oxide, which, are per, which applicable quantities of tantalum, niobium, and cesium. In addition, 
50 million tons of resources is estimated to be present adjacent to the mineral resources, and there is a scope to increase the resource even further. Work done by Kandicha mining technical staff have shown that the lithium oxide grade of the pegmatite is significantly higher than the 0.78 lithium oxide noted. In the mineral resource estimate materially increasing the value of the ore body. The company has embarked on drilling program to upgrade and increase the, the current mineral resource estimate. Eventually some 40,000 meters of drillings will be completed at Kandicha to fully unlock the value of the deposits. The internal min mineral resource estimate is 130 million metric ton at 1.1% lithium oxide. Mine development activities has commenced in earnest at Kandicha. Kandicha Mining has identified an area suitable for the establishment of mine infrastructure and extensive civil works have been completed to date. The work includes geotechnical studies, clearing and leveling of ground of, for, the, for the dense of media separation of DMS plant and equipment, clearing of the areas of high-grade stockpile material, fencing, and camp facilities. The initial mining will commence at the southern high-grade pit at Kandicha mining site. We'll commence the mining this year at the starter pit, which cons consists of approximately 50 million metric ton at 1.4 lithium oxide. This strategy will enable the Kandicha mining to accelerate cash flow, continue to drill out the Kandicha ore body to fully delete the ore body and capture its full potential. The mining of the ore body is relatively straightforward as the ore body exposed as brownfield site given. This was from Tantala mine for over 27 years. The, the, the thousand starts repeat strips ratio is 1.1 with a strip ratio of 3.1 for the life of the mine. Our technical studies estimated the initial production of 30,000 tons per annum of lithium concentrates from the mining of the thousand pit. By the second year of production with the project revenue is 120 million US dollar in the, in the year. The projected economics increases significantly once the larger phase of the second DMS processing plant is commissioned, which is designed to produce up to 220,000 ton per annum of sodium concentrate. In the medium term of our goal is to produce up to 800 tons per annum of 5.5 sodium concentrate at Kandicha, which is, will place the project in the top quarter of lithium sodium producer in the world. We are delighted to announce that the first DMS plant has now arrived at the port of Djibouti for onward shipping and thereafter its commissioning. Ethiopia has excellent infrastructure, especially for mining company going to production, including roads, rail, ports, and Ethiopian Airlines, the leading African airline. The Kandicha project has access to two ports via either road, only combination of road and rail, our first production of sodium and concentrate will be exported from the port of Djibouti. In addition, Kandicha has access to the newly developed port of Berbera, the south of Djibouti, as an option. Both ports are run by DP World. The project will in time, the project will in time be powered the biggest hydro scheme in Africa, the Grand Ethiopian Resources Dam, the GERD. The GERD Dam is some 5,000 metric watt at full capacity, doubling Ethiopian electricity supply and will make Kantitia one of the greenest battery metal projects on the continent. On our goal is to build a community-based mine operation that's sustainable and provides tangible benefits for the, for the regional communities and the stakeholders. Kandicha Mining is engaged in a number of ongoing community projects. This includes the supply of 60,000 liters of water per day for Kandicha 
and the surrounding village. Ongoing road repairs, water well drillings, supply of medical equipment, and a hawk initiatives such as the supply of sand and gravel to the community building projects. Kaducha is a community-based mine project, maximizing a local employment and country contract base. Kaducha mining will be very quickly training up a local personnel to work in mining and processing as we count down to production. Knowledge-based skill transfer is a priority for us. We will be a big local employer in the region. At the end, thank you, conference, for your attendance today, and we look forward to update you next year when we will be in, in production uh, and supplying customer with spot minimum concentrate. Our aspiration is to make Katija into the green bush lithium of Africa. Once again, thank you for listening.